I would like to take just a minute or two to kind of plant a seed in investors' minds here as it uh, relates to their allocation in portfolios. Um, one of the things that I think is still something that investors, in, independent investors, a lot of do-it-yourselfers uh, struggle with is uh, how does the bond market, bond yields right now fit into their portfolio? I see a lot of people not caring about that. They're basically, as I, I like to call internally, they're YOLO traders. You only live once, kind of just you know blowing higher upside calls, that kind of thing. But in reality, the bond market is offering us some great opportunities right now. And I'd like to just give you some very simple math around that. So what we're looking at here is something stupid simple. It's just the risk-free rate, or at least as far as portfolio theories uh, called the risk rate. It's the U.S. 10-year, U.S. three-month treasury yield. Um, and you can see right now it's yielding, as I'm recording this, about 5.4%. So every three months. So that means if I invest in this every three months in a rolling, let's say, three-month basis, I stand to make 5.4% at the, at the moment and until, of course, rates, rates will change over time. But we think at this point rates will remain you know, somewhat elevated here for, for the next you know, many years, actually, probably. So if I'm building a portfolio and I want to make you know, 8 or 10%, let's say, I can get a good chunk of that done by investing in this you know, currently 5.4% T-bill. So it means that whereas a few years ago when rates were much lower, it doesn't, you know, go back here and you can see just a few years ago, these T-bills were yielding essentially nothing. You know, they were down at like, you know, 0.7%. But now we're getting 5.4%. So if I'm looking to build a portfolio that yields 8 to 10%, I get halfway there you know, more than halfway, depending on what the number is we're looking for, just investing in these quote-unquote risk-free T-bills. So what that means is that from a portfolio allocation perspective, instead of having a 60-40 portfolio, where I might be in 60% equities and 40% bonds, I might consider being 50% bonds and 50% stocks, or maybe even more bonds than, than, than stocks, right? Um, and so it just, what it means is I have to take a lot less risk in the equity world um, than I used to. So I might, you know, invest in, in something that doesn't have a crazy ton of upside, but also not as much volatility. Ironically, what we're seeing right now, we're seeing a lot of people still playing the momentum stocks. So like the MTUM ETF, to give you an idea on that, you can see basically right back essentially at, uh, at previous, at, at sort of all getting to all-time highs so people are what they're ironically doing right now is they're they're buying t-bills and they're just gunning for it in the equity market but i think what's going to start happening soon is that we're going to start to see people realize that they don't have to take nearly as much risk in the equity world and the equity uh, risk premium is going to to go up meaning that you know risky stocks are going to start uh, trading trading a bit a bit more uh, a bit more cheaply in that sense. So, you know, with a riskier premium. Anyway, long story short, I just want to plant this in people's minds in case they haven't thought about this, that we can right now get a really good yield on three-month T-bills. And, you know, there's really not that much reason to take as much risk anymore as we had to before when yields were, you know, less than, well less than 1%. So hope it helps, folks. Any comments, please let us know. I thought it's interesting and... Uh, We'd love to hear any feedback on this kind of stuff as well. Thanks for listening. We'll see you soon.